Hey everyone, it's me, Bakisa, and welcome back to our channel here at the Canva Cafe. Today, we're going to do a tutorial on how to do text effects using Canva and another app, which is free, called Lunapic. So first, you would write your word and decide whatever text you want to write it in. And I would suggest, um, it's easier if the words are connecting because I'll show you that later, but if not, it just takes a little longer. So I'm just picking the text that I want to use for this tutorial. And after I'm finished, I'm going to download uh, my page as a PNG. And if you hear any extra noise, once again, you know, it's the neighbors upstairs. <laughs> So here we're inside of Lunapic and I'm going to upload my file. If you select the button all the way to the left, it'll say upload file and then you'll pick which file you want to upload. So we're going to upload the first word, which is, let's see, text. So then you're going to go on the, the column that says edit and you'll find the magic wand and all you have to do is click the letter and hit cut, cut out. I believe it says cut out and it'll erase the black words. And then you will hit upload. So then we go on to the next word, which you'll do the same thing. Go over to upload, to upload your word, go over to edit and select the magic wand, click inside the black line and hit cut. And then when you're finished, you hit upload. Now, in the occasion that the letters don't connect, you'll just have to do each letter separately. So then after it's saved and downloaded, I upload it back into Canva. And I add it to my page. And then I find whatever um, textured element that I want to be behind the word, whether it be a gold, whether it be glitter, um, a gradient, what have you. So you'll see for this one, I'm going to use a gold background and I'm just stretching it out just because I want the word to upload, you know, kind of big. So I found me a gold element. You can use silver, you can use anything and I'm going to put it behind the word, but just as a um, tip F, when you put it behind the word, make sure it's not showing on the outside. And I will try to point out what I mean. So you see to the right, you can still see the goal. Make sure it's behind, behind the space. So you watch me push it behind. And once you don't see it anymore, that's good. But now you can just, you know, rearrange it to get the gradient or, you know, the effect wherever you want it inside of the word. And I believe I'll blow up the screen so you can see it a little bit better. Don't forget the background remover is a pro feature. So you can use my affiliate link below to try Canva Pro free for 30 days. So I would also suggest you blow up your screen so you can see how the element looks behind your word. So now I'm going to do the same thing to the word effect, but this time I'm going to use a gradient and the gradient I'm going to choose um, allows me to change the color. So then I can customize the color to my brand or to my client's brand or whatever I want. So I search the word gradient and I pick the one that allows me to change the colors and it offers three color changes. So here I'm just playing around with the colors, trying to just decide whatever I want. And right here is another tip. I make it a little bit transparent so I can see what, how it'll line up over the word before I decide to send it to the back. And I'm just playing around with it to see which way I want the gradient to line up, whether I want it on angle or diagonal. So once again, it's transparent so I can see it. And then I send it behind the word. So now I'm going to download both pages as a PNG and re-upload it into Canva. And the font I use for the word text, um, Vasalis, it also is a pro font. And once I upload it into Canva, I will add it back to the page and I'm going to hit the background remover. And I'm just going to go ahead and tell you what's going to happen because the video may start speeding up. So after I add it to the page and remove the background, then I would add other effects to it like a drop shadow, um, 
a glow effect just so that the words can pop a little bit more. So you can do whatever you like. And I'm just showing you how it looks against the different backgrounds. So now you can see how that goal really pops and the word effects really pops. So what um, shadow effect you do depends on the color background that you're going to do so that it can blend, um, either blend or not blend so that it can pop. And then you could add other things to make the gold really pop, like these lens flares um, to make the gold look like it's blinging and some other color lens effect to the purple to make it look, you know, a little extra. So I'm just showing you suggestions um, to make it come alive a little bit more. And then when we're finished, I'm also going to do shadow effects so you can see what the shadow effects look um, looks like on the words, just to give you a uh, a sense of what you can do and that's what it was before and that's after so I don't know why I'm going up and down with the page <laughs> so now I usually if I want to do some shadows I'll turn the page white or light really I do it on the color of the page that I'm going to do it on so I know what it's going to look like. So right here, I'm just adding probably a drop shadow or, or um, yes, yeah, a drop shadow effect. And I'm just looking to see what it looks like on different color backgrounds with the shadows. And of course, if you do a dark background, you won't see the shadow. And here's another word that I did for, just for another example, I did um, March Madness. And I use a different font here. And I'm gonna do the same steps. I'm gonna save it as a PNG and upload it. And then I'm gonna to go to Lunapic and I'm going to upload the file there. And then I'm going to go to edit and select the magic wand and click the black lines. And you'll see, I may have to do it a few times because the words don't all touch, the letters don't all touch. So I may have to do some of the letters separately. And don't forget when you do letters like eyes with the dot at the top, don't forget to go back and do the, the little dot because sometimes you may miss it and realize you forgot to remove the color. So you see me uploading it and see, I have to do it a couple of times because of course they're two separate words so they aren't connected. So. Anything that's not connected, I have to keep going back to it. And I uploaded it back into Canva and I decided to use uh, this color for the March Madness. So I made it, you know, with green tones because March Madness, St. Patrick's Day, what have you. And I'm just playing around with the colors just so you can see some suggestions and how you can make your own um, customized gradient. And another tip, if you were to make this customized gradient and extend it for the whole page, you could download it and save it as a PNG and re-upload it and, and save it in Canva and use it as your own custom element. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it was easy to understand. If you have any questions, just rewind this. Rewind, yeah, re rewind this and watch it a few times. Watch it on your phone. And that way you can go along with it on your computer or however you design. And I'm doing the same thing. I'm putting that behind the March Madness and make sure it's not showing along the edges. Make sure whatever you're using is behind the word. And then I'm gonna save it as a PNG, re-upload it into Canva and remove the background. I'm going to put um, a glow effect around it. I'm gonna do it in several colors just so you can see different versions of it. I'm gonna outline it in white and in black and um, do drop shadows and all kinds of things just so you can get a great idea of how to do this. And once again, if you found this tutorial helpful, please hit the like button, please subscribe and share it with someone else who you think could use this. And don't forget to leave a comment with any other videos you would love for me to make. And follow me on my other social media. I am the Canva Cafe also on Instagram. Love y'all. Bye.